YouTubers, it's Selling Guy 60. Today uh, we're putting some paint on the 11 horse Briggs and Stratton that I'm overhauling. Last video I think was on uh, cleaning the uh, deck and the whole tractor and then uh, started washing some of the parts uh, to the motor, so I'm painting today. There I am painting. This is the got some rust oleum heat. This is a kind of a uh, what is this almond paint? Putting this on at the base coat, it's heat paint. This is the sump. Uh, I use that mixture of um, one third uh, simple green, one third pine saw, and one third water to clean up all this stuff. There's some other stuff, the covers, some of the tin covers, there's the head. Some of the stuff I didn't paint uh, down here, like the airbox cover, uh, the top to the uh, uh, harmonic bouncer right there. Uh, some of the stuff I, I decided just to leave alone. I think the like the starter and some of the stuff here look good black and silver. This thing's gonna get painted green. I think it's grabber green. So we've got all my parts in a box here somewhere right over there. It's the crank and the crankshaft and or the um, I'm sorry the uh, rod, the piston rod, the one that busted. That's what's left of it. Uh, I got a set of rings, I uh, got some miscellaneous gaskets and stuff, so that's where we're at on that. So uh, this is my second coat here, and I've got just a little bit more. I think I'm going to put a couple more coats on the cover here. I got the stuff taped off on this, and I wanted to save the uh, some of the original stuff, and one is the, the ID tag, I didn't want to paint that, and then the... Uh, Briggs and Stratton sticker on top. I wanted to kind of keep that uh, original. So, kind of a rainy, wet day out. And uh, it's got the bike covered up a little bit Why I got that out of here while I'm painting. So, that's where I'm at on this, and uh, I'll uh, fill you in some more as we go along. All right. Bye. We were picking out a color for the tractor. And uh, I've had Chevy Orange and Ford Blue. I've painted engines over the years. Uh, I used to be a diesel mechanic, so uh, there was a Detroit Green and Red Cummins and uh, Yellow Caterpillar. But, you know, we were looking at, my grandson and I were looking at, a, at color choices, and I said, you know what, I've never done a green engine before. So he thought a green engine would be okay. So, we're going to paint this engine green. Uh, it's going to have uh, silver parts on it and black parts. So, it's going to be green, silver, and black. Our Murray has a red frame, so it's, <laughs> it's going to be very colorful. But I want to show you this green color that we painted, or that I painted. DJ picked it out, too. And he is going to go nuts when he sees this. Look at this. Now, that is green. That is called Grabber Green, and I know it's going to look a lot better uh, when I looked at the video <laughs> just right now, because this thing, this camera takes excellent pictures, this little Sony that I have. And there's the top and some other parts. I spray painted uh, some silver parts here. Uh, I got a muffler today, having it taken out of the bag. I ripped the bag open, just kind of looked at it, so I got a nice little brand new silver muffler and I have some bl black parts down here that's for the, um, uh, the, the uh, I call it harmonic balancer but uh, and there's a uh, uh, air box and stuff like that starter some other stuff down there that uh, we're gonna put on this engine I tell you what it's gonna be some colorful thing I might have to get some uh, big tires for this or something. 
Put a sound system in this tractor, huh? All right. <laughs> uh, we're going to be working on it this weekend, so we'll be making some more videos this weekend, putting the engine back together. This is our second, this is the second coat I got on this, so it's going to be fun. All right, talk to you later. Bye. Hello, it's Selling Guy 60 again. Doing some work on the engine. Got my grandson here. We're going to uh, lap some valves and I think maybe put the uh, rod, piston rod on today. Uh, I need to go out and get some assembly lube after I do this, but I wanted to clean some of my parts up because they, you know, uh, been sitting on the bench here for a while. Eh, trying to do something on the bipod so they don't make you guys all. They've been sitting on that bench for a while. And, you know, dust blowing in from outside. So, might be a little bit dirty. Get dust. And I haven't really cleaned all the stuff off them from uh, when, uh, when I first tore the engine apart. I'm trying to get this thing set up here. Ah, there you go. So, we're going to take some of the brake clean. Parts cleaner here. Brake cleaner. Hey, it looks backwards in the monitor. And uh, clean up some of the parts, and then I'll put them in a bin. I'll show you the bin later. It's just a regular tub with a lid on it. So this is the crankshaft that I cleaned up. Oops, put that out of the way. I cleaned up the journal, and everything seems to be clean. So I'm going to use some brake cleaner, clean this all off, and then I'm going to come back with me WD-40 and uh, spray some of it on there. So I've got a mask. Ah. Got a mask and I got some rubber gloves. You just never know. I got my glasses on. So we're just going to kind of clean some of the stuff up. Get some of the crap off of it. And that stuff will dry here shortly. It'll dry. And I'll shoot some WD 40 on it. Just to keep it from not rusting. I actually put some on before, but okay. I'm going to take this around, put it in my tub. That one's clean. I cleaned that off once before, so. So this one here, I'm going to blow it off with some air first. Blow that. This one has parts. Chunks. And all kinds of pieces. Little pieces. You can't even see. Don't be afraid of it. You want this thing clean. You don't want to leave a bunch of debris on this thing. And then uh, end up putting it back into your engine. Parts washer. So, but you gotta remember, a part washer. If you don't have a good filtration system, the stuff coming out of your part washer can contaminate your, your pieces that you're cleaning. So, you know, it's kind of a two-way street. And does this work? This works for me. I like that part washer, but I don't. So sometimes you just gotta deal with what you got. I put some more WD on this stuff here. There we go. There's that one. We're going to be working on this piston later. So, all the stuff out of here. I'll be cleaning this one again. I got to take it up and uh, to the up to work. Clean this off. I guess I can clean it here. I've got the, I uh, forgot about it. I've got the little 3 you know. Hey, you know what? We could try that out. I never thought about that. Let's see if that 3 um, I got this little uh, scuffing pad. I can't remember what it's 
called. It takes all the um, gasket material off my um, off the engine plates or off the, the old gaskets. I, I've never used this, so we'll let's see. Let's see if this works. yet. So, uh, yeah, that works pretty cool. So I'll we'll have to clean that up a little bit more and uh, then uh, we'll go on to something else. So this is about all I have to do is to clean this. I'll have some other things to clean but I'll show you that later and fire up the air compressor and uh, it, it's noisy. It's one of those um, oilless air compressors and man it's, it's it wake up the dead <laughs> all right i'll talk to you later we'll be shooting another segment after this one all right bye yeah let's have some fun let's take some paint off some take some of the tape off here let's see how this stuff turned out in real time Cover this up because I kind of wanted to keep this uh, original sticker on here. What did I say this engine was a. S yeah. I'll, think of here. 72. I'll see on the sticker here. It tells me what year the engine is. Yeah, cool. Stay good on there. Me? Sticker off the engine. Okay. There we go. Engine number tells you what year this. Well, somebody could put this on another motor and you would don't know if this is the year, but I'm kind of thinking this is all original. The year on this one is 94. See that up on here, the code part, it shows a uh, 9406094E under the code. Well, 94 is the year, uh, I think the month is 6, 06 is the month, and 09 is the day that it was made, and then 4E is the um, factory that it was made in. So that's that there. Big motor. I'm gonna try peeling some of this off and see what it looks like. So here we go. Make sure I got you in the shed there. Come on, wrap it in. There we go. This is the uh, rocker box. Okay. See you later. You taking off then? Yeah. Just, okay. uh, text me when you. Yeah, I'll, I gotta go get some. Uh, like I said, some assembly lube, and then I'll call you and you come back. So my grandson is. He's now awake. Uh, <laughs> it's like 12 30. Uh, I remember when I used to sleep all day too. He's out playing with his friends until I get stuff going. So I wonder. A few videos taken off some tape. I want to do we'll have to clean some of these surfaces up, you know. This is the uh, muffler and that's the intake for the carburetor. So we're taking this off here. 
This is the top the cylinder. I'm going to have to clean this up. Looks like it's turned out pretty good. Ah. <laughs> Here's the inside, this is where the sump goes on to. I use duct tape, it sticks a little bit better. I use any tape, but use the blue stuff. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I'll clean this out with brake cleaner too. Oh, brake cleaner. So I clean this up. I don't get any on my paint. I spent so much time. Putting this paint on, I don't want the paint to come off. So be real careful with the paint cleaner. Maybe I should have done that before I painted it. Should probably be a bad. I should have probably done that. And I get too far ahead of myself. So we yeah, actually probably done all this cleaning and prepping and all the shiny before I take this up. So that's my fault. My bad. So if you do this at home. Get this all shiny and <laughs> clean and then paint it. Uh, got too many things going on. Thought process, who needs it? Okay, let's take this off. I want to keep this silver for the original color. So I'll wrap this thing all up. Touch it up. I thought about using the brake clean on the head here. I can just use. I'll have to clean it out. The inside out here with brake clean and dump it out. But up here on the top, after I clean the head off, I can just wipe that down, spray it on the rag. That way, it won't get it on my paint. This is the upper uh, harmonic balancer. The, the, the sits up on top here, and I never did place the seal. This seal is really good, so. I'm going to replace the seal on the sump because I think that's the one that was leaking and it had oil. There was oil all over here. This sump is the part that sits down on the uh, on the uh, lawnmower or the uh, riding tractor deck, and that had oil everywhere. So I think the problem was this thing was just leaking, and uh, they didn't put oil in it, and that's probably why the connecting rod uh, failed. I got it. I pulled the dipstick out, looked at the dipstick, and there was probably, I don't know, a quarter inch of oil in the end. I drained a little bit of oil out of it, not a lot. So I think they just ran it low on oil. And uh, crank, you know, anything, hey, you don't put oil in it, you're driving it, it's going to do something. It's going to blow up on you. Okay, so I'll get back with you. I just wanted to take the tape off and show you some of the stuff. Uh, we did head head came out nice. I'm gonna have to clean this up with the with that little um, grinder I just showed you. I might use I think I'm gonna use a wire wheel on this and clean all this is pretty some pretty hard carbon. I'm gonna use a wire wheel on this, clean this all up, clean this head surface up. Um, probably lay it down on a flat surface on a piece of sandpaper, run it around, make sure. I've got a nice flat surface. I'll probably do the same with the head here. Put that uh, on a flat surface. You know, flip it upside down, put it on a flat surface, and see if I can sand off a little and run it across the sandpaper. Sometimes a big sandpaper, you have to take sandpaper and glue it down to a board or something, a flat surface. Just glue it down, roll it out, I don't have it all lumpy and stuff, but, and uh, sand that down. So we'll get back to you. We're going to lap these valves in, show you how to do that, and we're going to put the uh, piston pin in and uh, have DJ put that together. The rest of the stuff, I have to hone out the block. I'm going to have to do that. Uh, and, uh, that's about it. So uh, we got some more coming yet. All right. Hello, 
towards me. Where am I at? There. <laughs> Let's move it up here. There we go. Okay. Hey, um, did some cleaning up of the surfaces for the gaskets. I got some of this part of this one, uh, my carb gasket, and my carb intake. This is Carb bolts onto this one side, and this other side bolts onto the engine. So this is the intake manifold, very small. But I have a problem with it, and I'm going to point you back down here, right, so I can see what I'm doing there. Part of this, sometimes I never know. I know this thing takes some good pictures, but there's a bunch of junk on here. It's, it's like they put glue on here, puts a, 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 some uh, sealant on here and stuck the gasket on here and the gasket is just like stuck on here. I scraped this with a razor blade. It's not, it's, it's coming off but then, you know, I'm trying to do it with, with this little 3M thing and it's coming off and boy, it's being kind of rough. So, I've got some, uh, this is 80 grit sandpaper and I'm going to try to so this is pretty flat surface. Let's see if we can get some of this pretty stuff on. work at this some more but uh, I've got some 120 this other side I just got some paint on it it doesn't have a bunch of uh, gasket material on there but this is 120 grit right here and I run this across it nice flat surface cleans up pretty good squares up the surface Nice and shiny. I guess the camera is, I don't know, kind of help for me to tell sometimes how good this camera is. It's, I'm looking at the monitor. Sometimes it shows that it's, uh, uh, I don't have enough light sometimes, and other times it does. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. there you go. This does pretty clean, but you can see this one here. Still, uh, still pretty dirty. You shouldn't have put shouldn't have put that gasket material on you know sometimes gasket material you need to put that on there if you have a problem with it fitting you know it's a problem with it fitting right or something like that or it's uh, you might have a car problem they thought maybe been leaking here so they put gasket uh, make a gasket on here maybe put another gasket on here and, you know there's some stuck to the to the block itself, so yeah, this is this is really awkward. So, so I'm gonna keep working at this, and when I'm done, I'll show you. Am I back on yet? Yep, I am. Just wanted to go back on, and I had to take a razor blade to it. I just couldn't get that stuff off, and I took some 80 grit sandpaper, and I've got down to that that right there. So right now. Right now, down here, I've got some 120, and I'm just kind of, you know, trying to get it as clean as that is. But you can tell there's, you know, there's high spots and low spots in there that are, that are just quite right. So this is a nice flat surface, and I'm not going to put any kind of gasket material on here. On the sump gasket, putting it on the block, I'm, I'm going to put some. Uh, I'm going to put some material, put some uh, gasket sealer on the sump, let that tack up, and then put some more on the uh, block itself before I put it all back together. i got to do a test fit on it first, check the inside. So that's probably about the only place on here that I'm going to use the gasket sealer. Yeah, it's coming, it's coming together pretty nice.
Let's see. It's getting pretty good. It's getting there. It's getting there. Tap this out. Pull some of this grit off the light. And we'll try some more. The other sandpaper was 80 grit. I took a lot of that off. There we go. That's it. That's a lot better. It's, you know, the gaskets, uh, you know, paper gasket, it'll take up some of that space and stuff in there. But make sure you get these as clean as you can. I know this isn't, uh, this ain't no high speed drag race car or, and, uh, you know, formerly one, Formula One racer and all that other stuff. This is it's just a lawnmower. We want to keep the parts as clean as we can, but you know, we it's not going to be as uh, clean as some of those some of those uh, guys that put those engines together. They got a special engine room that's spotless, clean. It's got filters and everything in it. You know, those engines turn. You know, oh, I'm thinking 14 to 16 thousand RPM. Uh, you know, these things turn like you know 4,000 to 5,000 RPM. Not even close to the RPMs that a race engine does. So, so I gotta go get some stuff, and I'll be back, and then I'll get a hold of DJ, and then we're gonna lap those valves and uh, and uh, put that um, uh, wrist pin in the rod and uh, get that done. So I'll be back. <laughs>